Aside from the iceberg, several other factors contributed to the sinking of the Titanic. Design flaws. The Titanic's watertight compartments were not completely sealed at the top, allowing water to spill over into adjacent compartments. This design flaw meant that once multiple compartments were breached, the ship was doomed to sink. Rivets and steel quality. The steel used in the Titanic's construction was brittle in cold temperatures, and the rivets used to hold the steel plates together were of poor quality. This made the hull more susceptible to damage upon impact with the iceberg. Speed The Titanic was traveling at a high speed, about 22.5 knots, despite ice warnings. This reduced the time available to avoid a collision when the iceberg was sighted. Lookout procedures The lookouts in the crow's nest did not have binoculars, which could have helped them spot the iceberg earlier. Response to iceberg warning. After spotting the iceberg, the ship attempted to turn and reverse the engine simultaneously, a maneuver that may have reduced its ability to turn quickly and avoid the collision. Lifeboat shortage. The Titanic did not have enough lifeboats to accommodate all passengers and crew, which resulted in a high number of casualties. This was partly due to outdated maritime safety regulations and the belief that the ship was unsinkable. Human error, miscommunications and errors in judgment, such as the failure to heed multiple ice warnings from other ships, played a role in the disaster. These factors, combined with the iceberg collision, created a perfect storm of conditions that led to the tragic sinking of the Titanic.